Hello and welcome to Professor Pincushion. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to make your own tote bag. You can either embellish it or you can use a really cute print. Also, I'm gonna show you how to attach a really handy pocket to it. Let's go ahead and get started. Let's take a look at our supplies. Now, to make a tote bag, you actually don't really need that much. Most important, you need your fabric. I would say get a yard of this. Now, I'm using home decorating fabric, but you can definitely use other types of fabric like 100% cotton and such. You need your straight pins, some scissors, some all-purpose thread, sewing gauge, fabric marker, and the thing not shown here is going to be your sewing machine and also an iron. This is what you're going to need to cut out. So for the main bag, you need to cut one out 15 and a half by 35 and a half. The pocket is optional. You don't have to do a pocket, but if you want to do one, I did mine 10 by seven. That's the size of this piece here. Straps, you're going to need two, and each strap should be three and a half by 29 inches. The first thing we're going to tackle is going to be the pocket. So this is my pocket piece and I have it wrong side facing up. My fabric looks the same on both sides. But we're just gonna say this is the wrong side and you're going to deal with one of the lawn sides. So this is going to be the top of the pocket. So if you have a directional print, you definitely wanna rotate so you have the top side up. Again, wrong side is facing up. You're gonna take this long edge here and you're gonna fold it over a quarter of an inch and then press it. Flip your pocket over so you're looking at the right side and you're gonna take the same edge, you're gonna fold it now a half inch and then press it again. Next, you're gonna sew a quarter inch seam allowance on these three sides. So you're starting here at the top of the fold, you're sewing all these sides together. So all this folded part is gonna be sewed down and then you're gonna to come to the end, pivot, come across, and then go back up till you get to the folded side. So up here is not gonna be stitched. When it comes to pivoting at the corners, I get to about a quarter of an inch away from my edge or whatever my seam allowance is, put my needle down, lift my foot, pivot the fabric, and then I can continue on. Don't forget to backstitch at the end and beginning of your stitches. Here's what your pocket should look like at this point. Now, after I stitch, I do like to clip off these corners here, so it makes it a little bit easier for the next part. So I'm looking at the right side. I'm gonna take this part. I'm gonna flip this section over to the wrong side of the pocket and push out these corners. And then you're gonna take all this, fold it over. So if we flip this over to the wrong side, it's gonna be folded over the half inch and you can go ahead and press it. I still need to get these corners out. Now this is where being able to see your stitches is going to come in handy because you're gonna take the remaining three sides and we're going to fold it over to the wrong side of the pocket. So when you look at the right side of the pocket, I'll show you what this looks like after I press it. This is all gonna be a nice folded edge on the sides and the bottom and then this other side here. Now for tackling the corner, what I like to do is I take this corner section, I fold it over just to the edge of this corner of the stitch. And then I fold one side, pin it, and then I can fold the other side and I can pin it. So basically your stitches are gonna end up right on that folded edge. After pressing, this is the right side of my pocket and this is the wrong side of my pocket. Just to make this area look a little bit nicer, I'm going to stitch right along this folded edge and that's gonna keep all this stitched down at the top of my pocket. This is going to be a regular length straight stitch and you can see I'm getting as close to that folded edge as I can. Take your bag fabric, lay it right side up so we're going to pretend this is the top of the bag. So this is 15 and a half, and this is the long side, which is 35 and a half. So it's right side up. You're gonna take your pocket. You're also going to place it right side up. So all the folded edge is towards the bag. The open side where we just stitched right along this folded edge here is going towards the top of the bag. We're going to pin it into place, and I would say from the top down this way, you're going to go about seven and a quarter inches, and then from the sides, it's about three inches. Now you can place your pocket wherever you like, but this is just where I did mine. So once I have it placed, I'm going to pin 
three edges of the pocket to the bag because we're going to stitch right along these three edges and this is going to stay open so then we're able to use it as a pocket. Sewing those three sides of your pocket to your bag is called a top stitch and you can see I'm getting right along that folded edge of the pocket. So make sure our pocket has as much room as possible and I'm just doing a regular length stitch and don't forget to back stitch. If you want to embellish the other side of your bag, I would do so at this point. Now you can see I stitched on this crochet applique. If you want to learn how to stitch on something similar, you can check out our tutorial on lace applique. But you can really embellish it however you want. You just have to imagine the short sides are the top. So if you're wondering, well, how can this be the top and this also be the top? It's because we're going to bring these two sides together and the bottom of the bag is actually in the center. When your embellishing is done, you're going to take your bag, fold it in half. Now it's right side up. So you're folding in half with right sides together. Match up all your raw edges. And we're going to stitch the two side seams. So this side and this side. I'm sewing this with a quarter inch seam allowance. For both sides, don't forget to do your back stitching. This is just a regular straight stitch. And when you finish, you can flip it right side out and press it. Next, we're gonna be moving on to the straps. Now, if your fabric is kind of on the flimsy side, as an option, you can apply fusible interfacing to the wrong side. So that should give it a little bit more stability. My fabric really doesn't need it. Place your strap right side up and you should have two long edges and then the short edge on each side. So you're gonna bring the two long edges together, and again, the right side's in the middle, so it's right side to right side, and you're going to pin and stitch your quarter inch seam allowance on this raw edge. So you're gonna do that for both straps, and I've already done it for my other strap. So after you sew it, you're gonna flip it right side out, and you're going to press it, and it should look something like this. Next, you're gonna take it back to your machine, and you're gonna do that top stitch right along the folded edge, and then also where you have your seam edge as well. So on the two long edges, you're stitching right along that folded edge. My bag is flipped right side out and I'm looking at the top. So now we're gonna mark for the placement of our strap. So I'm gonna grab my sewing gauge and fabric marker. You're gonna measure from the seam allowance. So here's my seam line right here. So from the seam line, three and a half inches, and you're going to make a mark. Then I'm gonna do the same thing over on this side. So from the seam line, measure over three and a half inches, make another mark. Then I'm going to flip this over and do the same thing for the back. I'm going to pin my straps on the front and back of the bag at my marks. So your strap should line up on the inside of that mark. You can see there's my mark and I'm doing it right alongside it. And it's gonna be going towards the inside here. So let me just pin it. And then I'm gonna do the other side, you just have to make sure that your strap is not twisted. So now I'm gonna pin this one, and you can, you can see it's going on the inside of that mark again, right alongside. Now it really doesn't matter which way your strap faces, but I like to have it so the seam line of the strap is facing towards the inside of the bag, and on the outside we have the folded side. So I just think it looks a little bit neater. So I did the front, so now I'm gonna flip it over and do the same thing for the back. Base the top of your strap and bag together using the longest stitch on your machine. The seam allowance doesn't really matter, it's just a temporary stitch and you don't have to do any back stitching. I flipped my bag wrong side out again. We're now gonna be taking care of the top of the bag so it looks nice and finished. First, you're gonna go around the whole top of the bag and you're going to fold over from the right side to the wrong side a half inch. You're gonna press it. After you finish doing that, you're gonna take this pressed edge, you're gonna fold it again an inch and a quarter. Make sure you keep your straps out of the way. I'm just talking about this part. So there's an inch and a quarter. So you have a folded edge up here and a folded edge down here because this is still folded under a half inch. So after you pin that and you press that, you're gonna take it to your machine and you can go ahead and stitch right along the fold line here. 
I finished stitching the bottom of this hem for my bag and we're still looking at the inside. Next you're going to take both straps and you're going to fold them up and just lay them flat against the top of the bag. I would then pin this into place. We're going to sew along the top part of the bag, so the folded edge, but you're going to go right over the strap so then it's going to be permanently attached in this upright position and you're going to do this going all the way around the whole bag. The last step is reinforcing each strap. So you're going to do this for all four bottom parts of the strap, but I'm just going to show you the progression. So as it stands right now, the strap is attached at the top of the bag and down here at the bottom of the hemline. It's still open on the sides. So you're going to sew down each side to the bag. So that's this part right here. So you can see it's all attached. Next, we're going to form an X with our stitches. So you're going to go from the corner. You can see it kind of looks like a box now. So we got the top, we got the two sides, and we have the bottom part of the strap. So from this corner, you're going to sew across. Flip this over. So you stitch across, and then you're going to stitch across the other way, which is this one here. And so this is what you're going to end up with after you complete it. So we have the stitches, so it's attached on all four ends, and then you're stitching across to form an X, and that should make this really sturdy and your strap's not going anywhere. With that, my tote bag is now complete. So this is the one I just created, and here's another one I created, which is a fun print. Here's the pocket, very handy and quite large, so you could definitely fit something in there. If you find yourself making your own tote bag using our instructions, definitely post a picture so we can see how yours turned out. New tutorials are released weekly, so please subscribe to be notified of the next release. Make sure to check out our other videos and visit ProfessorPincushion.com to view our complete library with well over 200 sewing video tutorials, including our exclusive premium content. Our premium membership is only $5 a month for unlimited access and only available at ProfessorPincushion.com. Also, don't forget to download our mobile app for videos on the go. Thanks for watching.